The leakers were right. Pokemon Day tomorrow. We're getting little Pokemon news, but it's but it's interesting. Pokemon Day is tomorrow. We're getting a Pokemon Direct solely dedicated for Pokemon. Seven minutes long, so take that as you will. I don't know what that. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to be Gen 8 discussion only. Hopefully, Jesus, that's my goddamn hope. Um, as we talked about, a leaker leaked this, and he said, "Oh, it's happening," and everybody was like, "Oh, Mr. Leaker, come on!" And he was right again. This guy's been right a few times. I don't know if it's a guy, whatever. But hey, they're correct. Uh, it's going to be 6 a.m. West Coast time. I don't know why uh, Nintendo. I'm sure it's for Japan. Pokemon's probably more important to Japan. So they're like, you know what? We need to put it at a reasonable time for our Japanese viewers. Fuck America. Jesus. They can watch it later. Which we will. I'm not going to be catching this live because it's going to be 8 o'clock where I'm at. And I'm not waking up to watch a 7-minute Pokemon Direct. No, no. Even though I do wake up at like 9 o'clock anyways. But I don't give a shit. I'll wait. All right? It's no big deal. But uh, the interesting part of this, the, the, the juicy part that leads me to believe and a lot of other people to believe that we are going to get some Gen 8 stuff for sure. Because, you know, it could be a Pokemon Direct about just bullshit, like all kinds of whatever Pokemon fun stuff. It's fucking Pokemon Day, like, so who gives a shit? But apparently in the tags, people will check the metadata for the video because it's on, like, the website. You can check it out. Uh, and it's the, the, the tags in, ja in Japan say Switch. They say Switch specifically. Could just be a little grab, like... You know, Nintendo Switch. We're Nintendo. We make Switch stuff. I don't know. But if it is an indication of the content of the video, that means that the game is for the Switch. Which the next Pokemon game for the Switch, as far as we know, is Gen 8. So that's what I think we're getting. It's some Gen 8 fucking news. We got a new director on the set today. John, what do you think about this? I like Gen 1 the most. Hey, you're a fucking idiot. You got your nostalgia goggles on. Get the fuck out of here. You're fired. Anyways, Nintendo Switch, Pokemon, great combination. Uh, it wasn't that great for Pokemon uh, Let's Go, but God damn it, Gen 8, you please, please make, bring me back into the series because Sun and Moon couldn't do it. I played a little bit of that and I said, I don't care. I don't care. It's so whatever. Please suck me back in. I got, I got these nostalgic memories of, of Gen 2 and Gen 3 and Gen 4, obviously Gen 1 as well, John. But I got these nostalgic memories of playing fucking Sapphire at school. We had like a free day and like all kinds of nice stuff. I want those kind of memories. I don't want this weird sun and moon, like just streamlined bullshit. Give me the fucking Pokemon where I got to grind my ass off for bullshit. That's what I, that's what I want. But that's just me. I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of people that want that too. But hey, we'll see. Ex very, very excited to see what the fuck this direct holds tomorrow at Mounting. So, uh, really, really looking forward to this. Thank you, Nintendo, and thank you, Leaker, for letting us know ahead of time. I appreciate that. And, uh, in some, in some Capcom news here, which they're gonna dick us, they are gonna fucking dick us like they always do. Uh, we're getting three Resident Evil games for the Switch, as you heard. This is, I'm a little late here, you know, I was busy, alright? I was busy doing stuff, okay? But we're back, alright? Uh, but apparently three uh, Resident Evil games, we're getting Zero, the RE1 Remake, and Resident Evil 4. Uh, on May 21st, they're going to all be available in the eShop. No word on a physical for Resident Evil 4 as far as I could see, but Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1 are getting a, uh, a little physical compilation here, just the two games together uh, for Resident Evil Origins Collection. And you know how Capcom loves to fuck up those goddamn digital copies. They love to just fuck us up the ass, give us half the game, on the fucking thing, half the shit on the fucking cart, and then half the shit you gotta download it. Don't give us like fucking zero on the cart, and then we gotta download one. Cause they, at that point, there's no there's no point to the physical. Because if the Switch Online like goes down like fucking 10 years from now, and we, we can't download the fucking Resident Evil 1, you got the cart, you've only got zero. That's not the fucking real physical game, Capcom. And I know you're gonna do it! You fucking dumbasses. It's like, like, you're so cheap. You don't want to up it on the physical cartridge. If it's like that, you won't get my money. That's just that. It's just that easy. I didn't buy the fucking Mega Man X collection because of that fucking bullshit. You lose in customers that way. Uh, I wouldn't buy it digital either because I don't give a fuck about digital. I don't want to have digital games because, you know, you, you especially with Nintendo, their little system is like Xbox. If you down, if I downloaded a game in like fucking 2007, I can go re-download it. Nintendo's a little weird about that, but I think they're getting better. I don't really know, but. Anyways, I don't like to fuck with digital games, all in all. It's like, oh, shame, it's more convenient, huh? Well, good for you, all right? I'm old school. 
But uh, yeah, Resident Evil is exciting that it's coming to Switch. Not that exciting because we're not getting the Resident Evil 2 remake. We're not going to get the Resident Evil 3 remake. In America, we didn't get Resident Evil 7. In Japan, they got the streaming version of Resident Evil 7, which didn't even run that well. So, uh, you know, Resident Evil representation on the Switch is pretty lackluster, but at least we're getting these. But I'm sure there's going to be ports of, like, the fucking GameCube version or whatever, the Wii version, whichever one they fucking pick. It's not going to be optimized for the Switch. Believe you me. Uh, I mean, maybe. Uh, we, we could give them the benefit of the doubt. But I don't like to do that, all right? It's Capcom, and we know how they fuck our physicals right up the ass. Here, here goes another uh, 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 situation where we're getting fucked up the ass. You know, my Nintendo, that pointless program that gives you, like, shitty discounts on digital games and bullshit wallpapers for your fucking PC or phone or whatever the fuck else? Uh, apparently, my Nintendo users in Japan can buy this really cool physical Yoshi stuff. They got a bag and they got pens and they got fun little stuff. Why can't we get physical shit in America with our fucking platinum points? Uh, Club Nintendo was the coolest fucking thing. I love getting shit from Club Nintendo, registering my games and going to get awesome, cool, little, fun, physical stuff. I got a cool little carrying case for my 3DS back in the day. All kinds of cool stuff. And Nintendo said, no more, motherfucker. You get only digital rewards, but in Japan, for some reason, they get physical uh, again. Still, I, it's fucked. But it, it, Club Nintendo in Japan was like, fuck. They got, like, exclusive Game Boys and controllers and all kinds of stuff. Obviously, Japan is the home of Nintendo. But, I mean... I feel like they make a fuckload of money from America, like, if not more than they do in Japan. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't fucking know, obviously. But, I mean, come on. We're pretty important, Nintendo. Give us some cool physical stuff. I mean, maybe the shipping, that's the problem, because you don't want to ship it overseas. But this shit's probably made in China anyways. I, you know, who fucking knows? But goddamn it, it's upsetting to see that Japan gets this cool physical shit with their fucking platinum coins. My, my platinum coins just sit in my account and expire. I don't fucking get 10% off of Super Mario World in the eShop on my 3DS. I don't fucking do that. I don't, I'd rather just not spend the goddamn coins and just watch them disappear than get some fucking wallpaper for my PC. Give us some fucking physical stuff. Please, Nintendo. Jesus! Uh, this was really cool too, but fucked. Uh, very expensive. Uh, one terabyte micro SD cards are coming out. whoop de doo Everybody's excited. You can get a one terabyte micro SD card for your Switch and never have to worry about space uh, or switching on an SD card ever again. But haha, guess what? You're going to have to still because... A one terabyte SD card is going to cost $450 from SanDisk. So uh, that is 1.5 times the price of a Switch. That's fucked. Who, only rich people are going to fucking be buying this. Obviously, $450 is a fucking fat-ass check to be paying for a micro SD card. On the, on the other hand, I saw that uh, 400 gigabyte micro SD cards on Amazon are $77. So you get almost half the capacity for less than a fourth the price. Hey! I don't know what's going on here. It's the convenience factor of having all, all your information on one tiny micro SD card, that one terabyte, instead of having to switch out micro SD cards. That's where the price comes in. It's, it's new stuff. It's new technology. In a few years, one terabyte micro SD cards are going to be cheap, and we're going to have like five terabyte micro SD cards in a few years, probably. So who fucking knows? I don't know. They'll figure it out. But uh, in the meantime, all you rich people out there, enjoy your one terabyte, all right? Flaunt it in front of me and upset me, please. Uh, or if you want to donate one to me, that would be great. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the news today. If you want to be like this badass motherfucker on screen right here, you can hit our merch store, fugamecrew.bigcartel.com. We got shirts, we got mugs, great quality, fast shipping, good pricing. I hope you, hopefully you'd love it. And you could be in our movie. Send me a video, send me a picture, and I'll put you in right here. Uh, if, you don't want to, if you don't want to buy merch, but you want to support the channel, head over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash fugamecrew. For as low as a dollar a month, you can really help out the channel. All of our current patrons, you are amazing. And we know we love you. Hit up the links in the description for more content beyond this. And I'll see you in the next one. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Hey, John, you actually are fucking fired. First episode and you're gone. Fuck you. <laughs>